All right, welcome to so excited, Fran Bo. I've been wanting to play this game forever. We are now finally playing it. I'm so excited. So, um, this game, I think too, it's got that kind of creepy. It's got the adventure. It's got everything. I'm so so excited, and I'm pretty sure I, I've seen it played a while ago, and it's it always reminded me sort of of Alice in Wonderland. I'm pretty sure they give her a shout out at the end. So so excited. Here we go. New game. This game uses an autosave feature. Okay. Not bad. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. Oh. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. It's a cat, so sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. We are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. <laughs> the kitty's so cute. We are having so much fun. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. Jesus, I'll say so. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. <laughs> Suddenly, I hear something. Yeah, I'd be pretty freaked out, too. It's Mom, screaming. You're terrifying on your own. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Oh jeez. Mom? Dad? Oh jeez. Please don't. Oh jeez. <laughs> Mommy? Daddy? Hot damn! Good god, that's graphic all of a sudden. Holy crap. That is a lot of blood. Friggin' the shining all over. Oh, kitty. Oh, just abandoned me. He was strong for like a second. <laughs> Jesus, I'm being picked up by the goddamn Illuminati. Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Three. Mm, love the graphics. Fran, how do you feel? I'm fine, I guess. I feel like I'm dying. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. I want to find the killer. I want to go home. Um, I mean, I would. I really want to know who killed my parents. The police are working on it. I'll find my cat and the killer. I'll find the cat. I'll find the ki I'll find the killer and my cat. Your cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back. Wow, way to be optimistic to a little girl suffering. But now I have something for you, Fran. Oh, really? See the desk. There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it.
This was my mother's purse. God, that's sad. <coughs> Freaking love my mom. Open it, there's something inside. <coughs> God, I do feel like I'm dying. Examine. Oh, I love the sound effects. Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love Aunt Grace, because it ain't your parents anymore. <laughs> she is worried about you. Aunt Grace. Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She's fine. <laughs> okay. So tired of all this. Can I leave now? Can I go to my room now? Try not to be mean off the bat. Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it is time for your new medication. What medication? What medicine? Medicine. I mean, I have medication too, Fran. It's called dotony. Dotony? And it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Oh, jeez. I can tell you right now, doctors and, and restaurant workers are not walking around in heels. They got them pinned up in games and movies and things in heels. That is not going to ever be the case. Them girls in sneakers, because you're walking around, standing on your feet for hours. I don't even go to retail in heels. I don't understand people who can. I definitely don't understand people who force their employees to do that. Because, my God, that will kill your feet. Anything new today, Dr. Dern? Well, wouldn't you know you came with the goddamn medication? Nothing actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. <laughs> Here, friend, take your medicine. Well, that was. She was willing right away. Hello. I don't feel good. I don't feel so good, Mrs. Stark. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I would guess not. Oh no, take her back to her room. Freaking love this case. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Beware Frambo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down catch you and bring you back to insanity. Uh -huh. Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. Kitty pushing drugs. I love you. I love you. Where my kitty at? I don't even know where my kitty at. Chapter 1, My Sober Day. Okay. Oh god, I love it so much. Oh Jesus, with the clown. Okay, here we go, let's get into this. Good morning! Not where you wanted to wake up, is it? I'm still here, hideous place. <laughs> my brain. I have to get out of here. Good to identify, it is in fact my brain speaking. Mmm. Love them eyeballs. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. Fran Bo Dagonart, what a name. 10 years old, female history. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagonart family, so someone brought her there and then just left her? Tragedy, details omitted, treatment. Dr. Miss Ellen Dern has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. Yeah, I went through that shit too. Documented. July 25th, 1944. Psycho- what? I'm not that for sure. Side effects. Side effects. One side of me, maybe. Oh dear, I really wonder who brought me here. Yeah. Okay. Jeez, it's a freaking... I will get your nose. I will get it. <laughs> Ooh, no. It's, what was I gonna say? Amputated hand. Everything about this is just so creepy and dark and awesome. 
hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. <laughs> Ren and Teeny, you are hiding from me. I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. You knew this ahead of time? Oh dear, I miss you so much. I will find you, Mr. Midnight, I promise. Don't be afraid, my dear kitty. Everything will be just fine. I could still walk around it and see what's on the other side. No. <laughs> yeah, it's a very good point. I mean, it won't let me, but I love how in games, too, they just put these little barriers and it's like, I could just walk around it, but apparently no. Lock, good reason to get curious. Exactly my thoughts. Oh, shoot. Oh, holy moly, something fell. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. <laughs> Such a good use with the kid's perspective. Oh, it's so creepy and awesome. Tower defense. We have we have for you a crazy what? Tower defense? Oh my guess is my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. Tower defense. We have for you a crazy person called Fran. <laughs> okay. My legs are just fine. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Jesus! And we already had time to draw that picture? Ahead of time, we knew? Was it the medicine? That made me sleepy. Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it anymore. Something happened. Oh, I forgot. Something happened. See? You are nothing but trouble. What is it? Broke the curtains. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Poof! Accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. Yeah, again with the heels. Oh, I guess I broke the curtain. Now I can look outside. Yeah, we covered that already. Talk. Something is missing. Have you seen a hook that holds the curtains? Seen nothing. What's a hook? Um, what's a hook? Well, I have to go and find something to fix this. You little girl, <laughs> excuse you. Okay, bye. Band-aids. Oh, I'll keep these patched to stop blood. Ew, why? Violent trauma can be a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have amounts of severe deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of the effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. You already mentioned this. Drawing of the brain. Oh. Let me see. Traumas. Hmm. Trauma is a word the doctors love to say. Hee <laughs> hee. That brain looks like a turtle. <coughs> he just left Fran's things out. Gladys. Yeah, okay. Fran Bow Dragonheart. The patient has uh, sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't... Uh, Three days now, some kids have come around and about her, asked about her, and when she would come and play. A H one A. There's handwriting is awful as it is. One A two B. Yeah, okay. I only understand three words. Friends sleeping and don't need. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. We should take it. How would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. <laughs> Some big assumption. Hide. Oh, 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 I, I know already. Okay. Examine. We got this. Teeny patches to cure the wounds. Examine. My pills are inside. I know it. I have to crack the code. Hide. Right. So one A. Okay. This is going to take me a minute because I don't know the number of each. The alpha. <laughs> 
I know the alphabet, but I don't know each number for the letter, and I can't just like pick it off the top of my brain. We gotta go through the alphabet. So A B C D E F G H. It's going to be A. <coughs> B C D F G H I. I very much appreciate that they kept the amount of numbers to what I could count on my fingers. <laughs> Pills! Here we go. It doesn't look like there's very many. Jesus, man. Holy, you have seen better days. Hello, Miss Nerd. <laughs> Just affected by nothing. Oh, we got a needle. Excuse me, lady nurse. This might be very useful. Watch your step. Get out, creepy creature. My god. Crambo, freaking savage. Oh, hello. Oh, jeez. Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. Well, okay then. <coughs> it was not me. Locked. Good reason to get curious. I have no guilt. I have no guilt. I have no guilt. I have no... Oh. Oh, bunny. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? <laughs> oh, sweet, sweet melody. How can we just walk? Oh, I thought it was our fox ears or something. Oh, hello. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Hmm. Oh yeah, I did say fox. Was that real? Oh dear Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. The doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Who did it? It's almost like it's her who's writing in blood. Which is creepy. Oh good, the clown's gone. That's one improvement. Where did the clown go? Okay. I think we've covered what we need to- Empty bottles, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels, towels, I don't need towels. Okay, well jeez, don't get so intense on me. Can we leave? No? Okay, we are going in and out right now. Hello, Miss Nurse. Okay, so we got the needle. Oh, wait a second. Can we test our lock picking skills? Use. Use knitting needle with your. Yeah. Nothing, of course. What was I thinking? Excuse you, okay? I'm trying. Okay. Empty bottles, empty glasses. Okay. <coughs> ah, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Okay. Oh, my kitty! Topaz! Hello, Fluffy. Yes, hi, Boo. <laughs> you looked up on me. Um. Which is fine. <laughs> she looks so polite. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure. for this okay where oh I didn't realize it's the eyeball well damn what was I doing this whole time hello Phil hello know any way out let's just get right to the point of course you do know the way out right there are many ways out everything's locked thank you bye <laughs> yes but you know that everything is locked indeed but the office is the key what do you mean? The office, what do you mean? Hmm. I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. No shit. I didn't see anybody buy. He's always so ready to buy. Who? Him. Oh jeez. 
this, man. Oh, jeez. All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my kingdoms. And nobody will help you escape. Leave me alone. I hate you. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let the monster stop me. Fillmore Brownstone, 8, male. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Brownstone. The boy has developed paranoia behavior, paranoia not yet diagnosed. Daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dern. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Hmm. Oh. Okay, this will certainly open something real sweet. Goddamn creepy dolls. I used to have a blue dress like yours. Oh, what a Mr. Horse, are you having a good time? If I sit down, I'll eventually get up, so what's the point? Well, geez, hitting with the big bag. Of course, it's locked. I hope somebody loves you. Well, that's nice. So casual about the nurse's death, but teddy bear, hopefully someone loves you. Okay. Yes, I know it's locked, Fran. Use teeny key with drawer. Yes, yes, I got it. And there is something inside. Why are you locking that up of all things? And why her picture? Use it. Oh, I don't want to use it. I wanted to examine. No, oh, nice. Oh, my dear family. I'll guard this with my life. Mm. My hair clip. I should give it good use. Okay, um... Can we here? Bobby pin that shit. It fits, but there's two holes. I need something else. Oh yes, we have the needle now, right? Yeah. Almost, but there's another hole. I need something else. I did. Use. Almost, but I need something else. Come Combine with this. Okay. I had to combine it first. Not sure how that's possible, but whatever. Okay. Well, it is late for me, and I've been playing for a decent amount of time, so I think for now, hopefully, it's saving. It doesn't really show very obviously when it saves, it says it auto saves. It's always concerning sometimes. So, anyway. I think I'm going to leave that here for now. So glad I finally got the chance to play this game. It's what I've been wanting so bad. Um, Steam Labs is still giving me a hard time, but I found you can just record through the computer itself. I'm so stupid. It's been telling me for ages. So anyway, just means linking things up. So, so excited to get to play this now. Going to see how this goes. I've got another game as well that I started. But I'm going to see if I'm going to put that aside or keep going. I don't know. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will hopefully be back soon with some more Fanbo. And don't forget to keep on wondering. Let's try this. Ha! Ha 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 ha! Oh! Ooh! Die! The day when you backstab caterpillars and are happy about it. A key! You've already killed it. No need to make a bigger mess. Okay, well, thanks. You don't have to be so aggressive about it. And we got a mirror. 